Are you looking for a simple way to place ad banners on your blog? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in just a couple of steps with the absolutely free ad inserter plugin. So my name is Jen Tokenyuk, your digital CEO, and today we are starting out right here on my blog. So this is what an ad banner looks like in, you know, in line with your content. It's different than a widget, which automatically shows up on every sidebar of, of your blog. Um, these, I find that they get clicked on a lot more because they're in line with content and they look really clean and nice. So uh, you can manually insert these on your blog posts. And I do that a lot. Like this one is actually manually inserted because I was talking about Bluehost and I'm an affiliate for Bluehost. Uh, but the ad underneath it, this is one that I have automatically inserted with the ad inserter plugin. So let's go over to the plugin. I'm gonna show you exactly how this thing works and how to set it up. So first go to plugins, uh, go to add new, and you're going to install ad inserter. Once you do, you're going to find it underneath settings and here it is, ad inserter. So ad inserter allows you to place up to 16 ad banners throughout your content completely free. So uh, what you'll do is you're going to take the affiliate link and banner link that your affiliate program has given you and you go ahead and you just paste it right here into one of the 16 blocks. So I'm here in block number 12 with my Bluehost affiliate link. They've given me that ad banner and it's in the size that I like, which is 728 by 90. Now I have added this rel equals no follow to indicate to Google that this is a paid link. This is something that is required. Now, whether you use rel no follow or rel sponsored is completely up to you for now, but just know that you really need to add this code in and it, they don't put it in your affiliate links automatically. The second thing I like to add in to this is the data pin no pin equals true. Um, if you have pin like sharing plugins, which I do recommend, um, when people click on that to go to pin an image from my blog post, I really don't want them pinning my affiliate banners. So it, adding that little bit of code here right after the image source code is going to stop that image from showing up, you know, inside of your social sharing plugins. So now we have our, our affiliate banner and link paste it in here. Now we're going to go down and I'm going to show you exactly how to configure this. So here we have a choice of where we can have these ads show up. So I like to just have them on my posts, but if you want them on your static pages, your home page, your category pages, you can just, you know, toggle these on and off. Um, the next thing down here is where you want this to show up. So there's a lot of different options in here. You can do it before your post, after your post, between you know, the comments at the bottom of the post, in the footer, anywhere you want. Um, and then you also have the option as to, you know, like absolutely set it. Like let's say that you always want your first ad to show up after paragraph three of your content. Then what you would simply do is just put in the number three and that's gonna be after paragraph three. Now, if you'd rather, and this is the way I do it, is I like to space them out throughout my content because I don't know, you know, if every single post is going to have 27 paragraphs or how many paragraphs it's going to have. And I don't want all my ads bunched up right up at the top. So what I do is I do a percentage and you do the percentages by points. So point one would be 10% of the way down the page. Point two is 20% of the way. Point three is 30% of the way. Um, I usually start mine at point two and go down through about point eight, point nine. Now, next thing is I like to center my ad banners. I think it just looks cleaner than having them, you know, floating around there. Uh, so when you hit center, it's going to do that. Um, this little kitchen sink thing usually is off by default, but you want to hit that next because this is where you're going to go down and you're going to set the padding underneath the banner. If you leave it at eight, the paragraph underneath it is going to be resting almost on top of the image underneath it. And it just aesthetically doesn't look very good. So set that at 30 pixels and you'll be all good. Now, um, in my first example, I mentioned that I had manually inserted this ad. Okay. 
and it was because I wanted it right here. Well, I don't want it to show up twice now that I've manually inserted it. So I'm going to set it where, because I know my Ezoic ad, this is an automatic one, this one's at 0.2. I want my Bluehost ads to show up at 0.3. So what I'll do is I'll set this at 0.3, but then I want to, to blacklist this ad from showing up on that post. So to get your post ID, just pretend that you're going to edit your post, hit edit post, and up in the URL bar, it's going to give you the post ID of your post. So you can come back to ad inserter, you will hit lists, and it will drop down all of your blacklist and whitelist options. So with this one, I took my post ID and I blacklisted it by having an X next to it. Now you can do this with categories, tags, post IDs, URLs, you name it. It's, it's very, very customizable. It's awesome. Now I also have other posts like this one, for example, is an Instagram um, ad. I really only want this showing up on posts I've written about social media and Instagram. So what I did was I set this one up to be whitelisted on tags, tagged posts that are about Instagram marketing and social media only. So if you toggle this so that it's the check mark, that means yes, it will show up on those and nothing else. So just so you know what the difference between blacklisting and whitelisting is. Next, let's say you have an awesome affiliate program and you want to put a banner on your blog, but they didn't give you the right size, you know, image. Um, I already said that I like all mine to be 928 by 90 or 728 by 90. So what I did, I, I like short pixel. I use short pixel for um, smushing all of my images, but they didn't give me a banner that I liked. So I went into Canva, I created my own banner and I made sure that it was the right size, my 728 by 90. I uploaded it to my blog and now I'm gonna show you how, even without knowing any code, you can create your own banner so that you can insert it with Ad Inserter. So first go ahead and you're going to copy the affiliate ID um, and that's control C on a PC, command C on a Mac, paste it in there. Okay, and then go and get the image. So when you click on this, you can copy this fire file URL. You'll do the same thing. Just go ahead and paste it in here. Okay, now just go over to any other block that works and copy and paste. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna replace the affiliate ID from the other one with the affiliate ID we just copied. Okay, and paste that in there. And then same thing with the image source. We're gonna take this image source out from the other image, and then you're going to copy the banner that you uploaded into WordPress. Okay, and then just go ahead and get rid of all this other stuff. Awesome. Okay, so everything's in here. The rel no follow followed us. So did the data pin, no pin true. And now we can go down here and configure this. So remember, if you just want it on your post, only click that. Insertion, I like after paragraph. And right now, 0.8 is perfect because that's an empty slot for me. Uh, custom CSS, I want to center it. And then with the kitchen sink open, I want my margin to be at 30. Okay. Now with this one, I don't, oh, you know what? I think I talked about this in that same other post. So I am going to get rid of this on that same post ID, which was 1265. Okay. X means I don't want it there. So we're all set there. And now I'm going to hit save settings one through 16. Okay, you always have to save them all. <laughs> you can't just save one, but that's totally fine. So once it's done, it will tell me that it's done. There we go. Uh, the number up here is red, which means that it's active. And uh, all these other guys that I've paused, um, I have some seasonal content and things that I don't promote all the time. If you wanna pause it, just go ahead and hit the pause button. And if the pause is red and this top is black, it means it's paused but now we know that my new guy is up and running. So let's go ahead and refresh 
this post and you will see that now I have a short pixel banner down here toward the bottom. Come, there it is, we just added that in. And now if we go to this post and refresh it where I already talked about short pixel, we shouldn't see it twice because I got rid of it from this post. So now if we go, see, this is the one that I manually inserted because I was talking about it. We shouldn't see it again down here at the bottom. And we don't. Nope. Perfect. All right. So I hope this was super helpful for you. I know sometimes I just need to see it. <laughs> I need to see exactly how things are configured because there's a lot of different settings in here. Um, they also do give you a full support um, you know, documentation down here at the bottom, how to hook this thing up to AdSense, Info Links, Ezoic, um, all the different things that you can do with this free plugin. They also do have a paid plugin if you need more functionality or more blocks or more support. Um, it's not very expensive and it's, I mean, this program is just super awesome. So uh, if you liked this post, if you liked this video, uh, go ahead, like, and subscribe. This is what I do is I come on here and I show you how to make money with your blog and how to do it without having to be super techie. Um, and then also if you want to be able to copy and paste the no follow, uh, you know, rel link, as well as the data no pin true, head over to my blog. All this is typed out for you. You can cut and paste it and the link is down in the comments. So until next time, I hope that you are creating some amazing banners that will get lots of clicks and make some more money off of your blog. And I'll see you guys on the next video.